Hello, it's Sarah. I'm putting out some paint into my bubble palettes because I'm going to do some dotting. And I decided to just use metallic colors, meaning, like this one's called Halo Pink Gold. Um, these are whatever I had in my stash. This is the Deco Art Glorious Gold, but I'm going to put out some of this metallic gold by Lemure. Um, they look really similar. This one's a tiny bit more like butterscotchy. This one's called bronze. And what other colors are there of metallics? Silver. Um, this is pearl white. And that's really all I have which the white looks very similar and I did mix with the silver which is Ceramco Gleams. I mixed it with pouring medium because it was kind of really thick. I think it's pretty mixed and it's yeah it's a good consistency for making dots. Now I am going to be using not too fancy but I did buy these specifically to make dots with. These are the uh, <clears throat> Susan Bates, let's see if it, they just have the number of the, these are crochet hooks. So they come in sets and the plastic ones are the ones you want. I'm sure the, I think it's like a metal version, but this has a flat bottom and it makes a really nice circle when you dot with it. So that, and I'm pretty sure I got these, both these sets were at my Joann's and it was probably two, three years ago. Um, and then I also have a set of stylus uh, ball tools that you can get on Amazon. Um, they're two-sided. They have different size ball tips. But I, I am not going to do a tutorial that is, you know, you have to do it with the specific size. These are some other examples. I did some ornaments. Um, and played around with different size dotting tools as well to get a pattern. Um, they're pretty cool. And I did use either um, metallics or uh, gloss paints, all the different, and actually I put a glitter varnish on these. Then I went more monotone. So this has like cream, white, silver, and there's like a really light blue for the snowflake the purples, different purples with white and glitter. So, um, gonna today though, I'm gonna be painting a flower pot or a, it's really just a terracotta pot. I think I shared briefly in my other previous videos. I have been painting these and I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna be done. I have um, one, two other ones prepped. I might do one other tutorial because it's gonna be really stroke worky. Um, it's, I just painted it white and then I'm going to put um, a vine with leaves and maybe heart flowers or something like that. This is a Shara Reiner kind of uh, play on her work that she does. So, because I have a book um, around here somewhere, but it, it wasn't a pattern. I kind of just freehanded it, but definitely followed some of her style, you know, the way she made her petals and stuff. And then this one is my sugar skull. Uh, and I, I just looked at Pinterest and kind of sketched it out on a um, piece of sketch paper first just to get an idea where I was going. And I painted him. And then um, this one's based in black because I like dotting on black. I've done, a, I've dotted on other colors as well, but Dotting on black really pops, and especially with these metallic colors, I think we're going to have some good luck. So I'm going to start with, I kind of want to start out pretty big. The blue is the biggest. I'm not going to, I have the purple and the blue. I think I'm going to go with this next size and then this blue. These are the two smaller of the big set. And I'm just going to start with silver and just make a dot. Cause see that's pretty big. Um, I'm gonna stick to one side, but I'm just gonna start with one and it's kind of in the middle, but there is no rhyme or reason to this guys. I'm just 
whatever happens happens with this. I've done this before with, um, I did an M for my granddaughter. Where did I put it? Over here, I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is basically what I did for this one with pinks and whites. So I just start with a center point and then I'll do some top dots as well, which means after the bottom, the pink one dried, I went in with a, a like a, a frosty pink on top. So if, that's why it's nice to make these bigger dots in the middle because then I can top dot it. Um, and I'm just going to start dotting around it using these metallic colors. So let's go with, uh, I'm going to go with a stylus, so a pretty small dot. Not the smallest. And let's see, I'm going to use this pink. It's called Halo Pink Gold. And start, and you go 12... Six, three, nine, and then I just fill in, and I think I can do two more that won't touch. The idea is you don't want them to touch, and I can zoom in. It's just that I forget when I'm zoomed in, so bear with me. And you just want them to fit. I'm not going to do any special um, pattern. I'm just going to keep it simple. Oops, kind of touched those. And it's a little, I'm trying to keep it the level surface. Uh, what am I saying? The surface level because it is kind of trying to drip down a little. I'm going to go back up and make the, I'm going to make this gold color. The one, this is the Lemire one that's a little more um, yellow gold. And just, I think that's going to be too big. Who says it's too big? I kind of turned it askew and I'm going 12. I don't want to touch. Sorry if there's a, a fungus gnat trying to get in the shot. <laughs> I have I've been working on getting rid of them. So that's pretty simple. And then I think I will walk some dots around that. I wasn't planning on it, but let me see. I'm going to put this here so it doesn't roll. I'm just wiping off the stylus, but I'm going to try and walk some dots with, let's use... I'm going to use white, this white, pearl white, and I'm going to just put a dot at the top of each gold dot. Matt's making a sandwich. Oh, see, I'm out of the shot. And Kirby is begging, but you know what? It's taken her mind off of the thunder. We're just having, it's not raining, but there's just a little thunder out there. And she is scared of thunder. All right, and then I'm going to use the other end of this stylus and walk the dots. And that's, you just dip and go. I'm going to start, I'm just going to do all the right sides first. And I'm not going to, when I do the other side, I'm going to stop where I um, bump into the line. So it's only going to have one kind of in the middle. I'll show you what I mean. I could leave it like this, and it kind of looks like a windmill, a pinwheel, not a windmill. That kind of looks cool. Maybe I'll move on to the next one. I think I want to make a smaller one. I just, there's a lot of paint in there. And it, the silver kind of does look like the white. But I'll top dot it. Um, 
I think I want to use yeah I think I'm gonna uh, finish the finish that little walk the dots I'm just gonna put two more one two and it kind of connects with the other one see how those two are touching that was that's not what you want to do kind of you could do this just on one side of the pot because you're not going to see all the sides of the pot traditionally you wouldn't unless it's in the middle of a table or something you would but you could just make a focal image on the front but I'm gonna make it all over because I like to I'm having fun too so that looks good good I just wish I hadn't touched and then I could I kind of want to finish it off with the one color I didn't use the bronze so I think I am going to with my biggest dotting tool the, the ball tool so this is like a what did I say it was called yeah bronze and that way we can see the difference in tone between the halo pink gold and this Kirby did he give you anything no I know I know you're it's not thundering right now um, I want to go back to I didn't use this gold either this gold right here and I'm going to just put a few dots um, so I, like I said there's no rhyme or reason I just am having fun did I mean I missed one right there didn't I and I can fit three I gotta put one more with my biggest stylus with that uh, bronze It's drying pretty quick. And then this gold. It's not true, Kirby. It's not true. You're fine. I want to go down. I'm going to leave it like that. And let's turn. Should I do them all the same colors? That's going to make it look more uniform, is the word I'm looking for. Mm, but just different sizes. Let's do, I'm going to do another, yeah, I'm going to do them all in the same, like, kind of. I'm going to start with a smaller dot with the silver right here. Kirby, stop. Not, it's not um, thundering right now. You're fine. Go sit down. Go ahead. Go sit down. If you get these metallics on your fingers like I have, you can see the shine. And then I touch the pot. It'll definitely um, get on there. But you can get it off or you can um, use um, black paint and go over it. So I'm going to go back to that um, glorious gold or whatever it is. This uh halo pink gold that's the second color we used and it's a pretty big dot so I'm gonna go 12 6 3 9 and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit another one in there boy that's really snug I'm kinda of pulling up I'm not like up touched And then I used the Lemire Gold. 
So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a smallish. I have no idea where I'm going with this, but I'm just showing you that using different size dots is gonna give you a totally different look. But it's gonna be uniform color wise. A little wonky. I'm gonna put one on top. Curvy stop. Get in your kennel. Go get in your kennel. Kennel. I think I want to do something in the middle though. I want to put a tiny little dot and now I'm going to go big again. So let me see. I, I'm going to use... It's the white. So let's go with the white. I'm going to use this one. And I'm kind of putting it in between the Palo Pink gold ones. Even though there's a row of gold there. See how different it looks? And then we did bronze, so I'm going to walk dots around this dot with bronze. So I'm going to use kind of like a... Uh, what, what I like to do when I walk the dots is like use a bigger dot to make the initial first dot. So let me find a good one, this one. So I'm going to make this one the first dot, oops, the first dot on top. So I'm using bronze. This is it. And I'm going to put one dot, just one dot right on the top and then when you walk them, you can just load the stylus and go straight down the side without having to over dot this. Or, so I'll show you what I mean when I get there. So the next dot that I make in the walking process will be smaller than this one. And where's my little wiper? I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe off my stylus. And I want to use, so let me look at the bottom of this one. Yeah, I'm going to just use the one that's right on the other end of here. And just start right next to it. And walk them around. I like to go down one side and then the other. I might have more room to, uh... Oh my god, does your dog do this? Because this is a terrible... Go lay down. Go get a toy or I'm going to get your collar. Do you want your collar? I'm going to get it. Go, Kirby. Good girl. Go. She thought about it. She's thinking about it. She wants to get on my lap. And I can't paint with her on my lap. And then after this, I used that other color, gold. So see, it looks so cool. They're the same, I'm using the same exact colors, but um, with different size dots. Oh good, she just laid down right there. I'm really not a mean mom. But, um, just can't paint. <laughs> I can't paint with her on my lap. Joe's still working from home and I don't know how much more, how much longer though. I think they're getting ready to go back in New Jersey. We're pretty maskless. But anyway, uh, she knows he's down there and so when it started thundering she was like scratching at the basement door and uh, 
you know, because he's he will sleep on her pillow, on her on his head. See, look, I just keep touching it with the with the metallic on my finger, so I'll touch it up at the end. So now I'm gonna go into that gold that's over here. That's the hardest part is keeping track of what color I used. And I'm gonna make a decent sized dot. Skipped one again. And when I watch these back, the videos, when I, I always see my mistakes, but while I'm doing it, I don't. I think I got it. That looks pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna do a few more. See that, I got silver all over there. I'm gonna do a few more and then I'll come back and do some top dots. So I'll be right back. All right, I wanna show you what I've got. I wanna see what it looks like on camera. It looks really cool. I need to clean up. I had one flower that I put up here and I kept putting my thumb in it while I was working. So I have a little cleanup to do. And then I'll put in these final little ones where I just did, it was the rose gold color, halo pink gold. I made the halo pink gold center with white and then I did white with, or gray, I forget, with the halo pink gold. Those were kind of my fillers. So, I mean, some places look a little more crowded than others, but then after that I might do some top dots, but I'm not positive because it looks good. I don't need to, top dots are very cool though. Um, like, I mean, I, I did a couple on here, like on the light, I did flat paint, but then I did top dots with the metallic. So, because this is all metallic, you're not, it doesn't need it necessarily, but what could happen is um, if I did a flat dot, that would really, I could just do top dots with black. I don't know. So I'm just putting out a little bit of black and um, I'm going to use like this small filbert and just, I'm going to get it wet first, blot it on paper towel and just come in and cover and I tell you this metallic paint definitely even though I wiped it off as soon as I could with a baby wipe it still smudges like the metallic part see you can see it right there especially it's showing up on camera over here so it's fun though I like that I'm trying uh, this is very cool I really like this it's actually pretty time consuming uh, to do these dots because you need your paint to be a certain consistency and you got to work fairly quickly but yet you have to wait for things to dry so you don't stick your fingers in it so I don't know but the look is really cool I'm liking that a lot um, and and like I said let me, um, let me just check and see if there's anything sticking out at me. I'm going to look in the camera. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so, like I said, I didn't do anything fancy schmancy. If anything, I, I walk dots around certain dots. But other than that, it's just like, I just picked, like, look, that one's wonky, this one. It doesn't matter. Oops. Please don't let me touch anything wet. Like I got on other dots too. It's definitely not perfect, but from a distance it sure looks pretty. So um, I think I am going to um, varnish. I've been using, so let me just show you. Uh, I have a nice big white spot there. I used on the outside. Now, if you're planting plants in these, like actual... I just used my satin varnish probably. Let's see, this one. I think this is what I used. Uh, yeah, it's satin. This is to buy, I don't know, water-based varnish. I think I got it at Walmart. Um, what I was going to say was, the terracotta is a porous um, medium so that the water can wick. 
it actually keeps the plant a little wetter I don't know if it keeps it wetter no it, it actually lets it dry out faster because the water can evaporate out of the pot so what I'm probably doing by sealing the painting part is making it a lot less able to expand you know I'm not letting the water escape which is fine with me and generally I use these as cover pots anyway I've been leaving my plants in their nursery pots um, and when I transplant them it'll be fine because there is a drainage hole so you know it's just not it's gonna have a little bit of a difference compared to if it was just raw terracotta so just keep that in mind but yeah I really love it I think I think I'm gonna call it done this side looks good I'm gonna go off camera and I'll just fill in along the little pieces that are missing and then I'll um, maybe I'll come on real quick and I'll show you how I varnish it's just basic no biggie but I gotta wait do I want to do a top dot I don't think I'm gonna do a top dot either what other color could I put on here I don't have another metallic like metal color um, copper I have did I say copper this is bronze I wish I had copper I don't think I do let me just double check yeah I don't have copper I have glitter um, and I have a lot of colors like but I, I think I want to stick with the original thought was that I was just going to do it with um, all metallic paint so I'm going to keep I'm going to stick to that but listen guys do what you want use what you have have fun and um, I'll be right back when it's I'm just going to show you how I varnish all right hopefully it's dry enough I'm gonna varnish but you know sometimes when you pull the brush across I'm gonna be gentle I am not that is not my middle name I also took a little bit of this ter oh, poof, terracotta to just touch up because I had gotten black there and look this is the kind of front where I started and it's a lot more congested and then as you go around the back it gets a lot more sparse but that's okay because it's round not you're not gonna see the whole thing I like it it's really looking good on camera too all right so I'm just gonna put out some of this what is it I believe I got this at um I want to say Walmart it's just it doesn't even have a brand name anyway uh, conformed I don't know oh Hobby Lobby it says Hobby Lobby down here and I just you can get bubbles in it and so you're not supposed to shake it just like Mod Podge or whatever but I'm just gonna put some out on my tray on my palette oh and these things I'm just gonna leave them to kinda dry out I mean that's a lot I should probably take some of that out um, because it'll pop right out of these bubbles and these I got at Dollar Tree um, so for a dollar I think I got six palettes or six little bubble trays so um, you know what I'm gonna need more varnish than that but uh, I'm gonna probably just put one nice coat I'm not gonna um, overdo it and I did sign my name on the bottom <clears throat> so I'm using again that wash brush it's just a really nice soft bristle bl brush brith bristle brush see I just don't want to keep like over stroking so I want to get it on there and move away but see how I've overstroked a million times because <clears throat> I'm a heavy hand and I put a lot of varnish on the surface and then I have to try to get my brush strokes but it, it'll dry clear and it'll um, it'll look great so yeah so um, let me think I have a project that I want to do I think I'm going to wood burn it and add paint to it as well um, and it's an under the sea type of a vibe with fish and I'll show you at the end I'll show you the book it's a it's a pattern that's in a book that I came across and I thought this would look pretty oh lord the dogs are playing see now I'm all the way around and I'm I gotta stop because what happens is the varnish can act reactivate the paint in a way I don't know um, 
and I don't want to do that so I'm just kind of looking for any thick parts make sure I don't leave like drippage yeah I think this looks good nice and smooth and it, it'll dry super quick too um, kind of want to get the lip so I'm just touching it I can always just add a little to the lip but I think I'm gonna do it and then I'll just hold it but look at that it is really pretty I'm very pleased with this one so I am going to if I would have thought of it first I would have put I think I'm gonna put it right on my Snapple do you think this is gonna work no because I have to touch it no matter what um, Anyway, I'm going to just, <laughs> I'll hold it. But this is the, uh, the piece I want to do. This is the book. It's called By the Sea by Sharon Binham. And you guys know, I've painted for years, so I have tons of these books. But I went through, and look at how soft, first of all, this is just like a beach scene. And these are the fish. These are some of the fish. Well, excuse me. I'll show you. <clears throat> that's Sharon I want to show you the colored picture okay so this is some of the beach scene stuff and I just think this would look really cool wood burned and then painted so um, that's what I'm thinking there's a little lighthouse I think I have a candlestick shape like that that I could do now, that's a lamp I'm getting there Here's the fish, and here's the underwater stuff, okay? So look, I'm going to try and zoom in. Look at that, how cute. And this guy's like turned facing, facing me, but look at this. Look, 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 look. just the fish and the seahorses. I'm trying to push this out of the way. My desk is so filled, but look. I am excited so I can burn the outlines and then or I might just paint it I don't know I kind of want to do the burn so this is how big it is this is the I'm gonna zoom up a little bit this is like on the side of what what is this like a, a, t a little napkin holder thing see how the shape of it but I mean I could put that on a door crown I don't know I freaking love it so look see how big it is that's my hand um, I specifically love the sea turtle um, but I love everything and I could take so here's another so here's the other piece this is a different this is the paper plate holder and then this is the other the sides of this so you could take like this and put it side by side and then I could do like a little um, like a door crown or something you know um, I even have like what is it I, I have these I still have this big one of these let me come up this is a, I think 12 by 12 um, basswood like canvas they call it so say or I think I have like an 8 by 12 one I have round ones I have a cross too I was thinking I could use um, you know, I mean, why couldn't I put little, I have a really big cross, and I have this cross. Why couldn't I put little, like, little beach stuff on here, and just have everything swimming on there? Um, this is, looks like it's ready to be burnt. Um, so, anywho, that is my thought. I had one other thing. That I was gonna nope that's it but this is what I want to do next and then if I don't do the fishy ones look at this see how the color pictures doesn't that look like it would be so pretty to wood burn it and then do like just really really light floats that's her style of painting so soft look at this this is like a little door crown it's the beach with what are they like little urns or something or I don't know what she's gonna call them. Let's see. 
is all the different shells. OMG. She had to do her, uh, <laughs> do some research to figure out what the heck all the different shells were called. The Nautilus, the Sand Dollar. I'm trying to figure out what the birds are called. But anyway, um, really, really cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, um, I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day or night. Look how cute. This really turned out cute. This will be one of my faves. And do some dots. Alright guys, thanks for watching.